Good morning, everyone. Who is ready to get this parade started? Happy Veterans Day. Welcome to the 8th Annual City of Surprise Veterans Day Parade. My name is Nicole Wiley, Public Information Officer for the City of Surprise. And good morning, everyone. I'm Tony Rixby, the voice of Surprise Stadium. And we're so glad you're able to join us today and honoring the men and women who are serving us or have served us in the past. We thank all of them for their courage, their bravery, their strength, and their dedication. And if there are any veterans with us today, please stand so we can say thank you for your service. We'd also like to thank King's Mini Pancakes for catering this morning's delicious pancake breakfast and MF Coffee Truck for providing those warm beverages. The City of Surprise would like to send out a very special thank you to our sponsors and supporters at Sanderson Ford and Sanderson Lincoln, Banner Dell E. Webb Medical Center, and National Indoor RV Center for their generous support of the 2022 Veterans Day Parade. And leading off the parade this morning, the Surprise Police Department Traffic Unit. It consists of officers trained in traffic enforcement and crash investigation. Through their dedication to the citizens of Surprise, they work diligently to prevent serious injuries and fatal crashes on our roadways. The group you see is led by motor instructor Stephen Shermakov and supported by officers Drew Persia and Gerald Graziazzi. They're the rootinous, tootinous, two-wheeled officers that Surprise has to offer. We appreciate your service as well. Next up, the Luke Air Force Honor Guard is here and has graciously chosen to march in the Surprise Veterans Day Parade. We are very happy to have them. Larry Brown is today's Grand Marshal. Larry is a veteran, a member of the U.S. Marine Corps, serving from 1964 to 68, and an active reservist from 69 to 74. His accomplished memberships are many. A volunteer member of the Surprise Police Department Citizen Patrol. Thank you to Larry for all your service and for being our Grand Marshal today. You'll also see Mayor Skip Hall. Without his support and the support of council, we wouldn't be able to put on these great community events. Mayor Hall, thank you so much for your service in the Vietnam. He's a Vietnam veteran and has received the Bronze Star for outstanding service, so thank you very much. Mayor Hall has served as our city's mayor since 2021 and as a council member since 2008. Following the mayor is the vice mayor and District 2 representative Allie Klein, accompanied today by her husband Gary. Representing District 1 is Councilmember Roland Winters. Councilmember Winters, first elected to City Council in 2013. Thank you so much, Roland, for your years of service to the City of Surprise. Coming up next is City Council District 3 representative Patrick Duffy, accompanied by Killian today. Representing District 4, Councilmember Ken Remley riding today with his lovely girlfriend. Councilmember Renly has been your District 4 Council member since 2016. Thank you for your service. He's a Vietnam veteran who served in the U.S. Navy from 1963 to 1967. Thank you. Representing District 5 is Councilmember Jack Hastings, and he's joined today by Olivia. District 6 council member is coming up. He is a native Arizonan. Council member Chris Judd driving in his Jeep today. He's riding with his wife, Jenna. Council member Judd began his four year term in 2019. And right now we're having a flyover from Luke Air Force Base. F-35s kicking off our parade with active men and women in the sky. Representative Joanne Osborne is a member of the Arizona House of Representatives representing District 13. She assumed office in January 14, 2019, with her current term ending January 9, 2023. She's a champion of surprise and an advocate for Luke Air Force Base and our veterans. State Senator Frank Carroll representing District 28. He assumed office back in 2019. Born and raised in Chicago, he's been a strong and reliable advocate for surprise and a constant supporter of our veterans. Accompanying him today is his wife, Joanne. 
City of Surprise Veterans Disability and Human Services Commission charged with assisting the development and expansion of city human service programming related to veterans, people with special needs, and those experiencing social economic vulnerability in need of general guidance and supportive services, workforce development, and overall care. Founded in 1997, the Surprise Citizens Patrol is a team of trained citizen volunteers who assist Surprise Police with many duties and services, allowing the officers to focus on crime prevention and reduction. Precision, professionalism, and pride distinguish the members of the Surprise Honor, Honor Guard. The Honor Guard renders honors for fallen officers, performs ceremonies with precision, professionalism, and pride. Being a member of the Honor Guard provides instant gratification for a job well done when performing with their teammates and representing the Surprise Police Department. And just passing us were Surprise Police Chief Benny Pena and Assistant Chief Chuck Moran. We thank you for your service. And you can't miss them, the Surprise SWAT Team driving in Lenko Bearcat. The Surprise SWAT Team responds to highly volatile scenes with the hopes that they can resolve any situation peacefully. The team's made up of 16 operators and two full-time firefighter tactical medics. Thank you everyone in the community for your unwavering support. Surprise Fire and Medical here today to showcase a refurbished 1946 International, the original first line front line pumper. Riding along is Fire Chief Brendan Espy, who began his service to Surprise Medical back in 2001, beginning as a firefighter, rising through the ranks to Captain, Battalion Chief, and Assistant Chief. Also with us today is a current frontline engine from Surprise Fire and Medical, Engine 307. And that's a beautiful old engine company number one, Nicole. Uh, you don't see many like that anymore, and it's it's great to see the contrast between the fire engines of the past and the modern engines of today. And keep your eyes open, there might be some candy coming your way. The City of Surprise Special Olympics and Buddy Sports teams would like to thank our veterans for their service to our country. We'd like to especially thank Army veteran Coach Lance Heverly and Air Force veteran Coach Mitch Cameron for their service to our country and commitment to success of our athletes this year, leading them to a gold medal in Special Olympics softball and their support of Buddy Baseball. Walking right along, we have Surprise Youth Council. It's made up of a diverse group of middle and high school students whose positivity impacts the community through youth-driven initiatives. They work to better understand local issues and tackle real-world problems. The goal is to create an engaged youth population, provide skill-building opportunities, and help our young people develop a lasting love for community stewardship and civic participation. At Cub Scout Pack 1776, every new adventure, every camp out, every badge is a chance to learn new skills and gain new experiencing. Scouting is fun with purpose and benefits for their members, the communities, and for everyone's future. Cub Scout Pack out of Surprise, Arizona, Troop 194. We're glad to be here and show thanks to all the veterans and active military. Arizona Troop 194 was founded in 2014 and is chartered by Surprise Friends of Scouting. They serve youth ages 11 through 18. The Scouts lead by example an active part of the Surprise community, including community events and service projects, working to earn merit badges and gain real life experiences to make them all better citizens. Troop 194 has produced 13 Eagle Scouts. That's an amazing number since its founding. Yes. Troop is proud of our veterans and happy to be here today to show their appreciation. And as they walk by, we'd like to remind you that the City of Surprise is an Arizona veteran supportive employer and city, as designated by the Arizona Coalition for Military Families and aims to honor and support veterans in appreciation for their service and to our country. Head to surpriseaz.gov slash veterans resources for more information on these benefits. And we will assist in the development of city programming related to veterans, people with special needs, and those in need of general human services and workforce development. And Nicole, after the parade today, we welcome all in the Surprise community to continue honoring the men and women who've served by visiting the Veterans Reflection Circle. That's located on the east side of the Northwest Regional Library in the Surprise Community Park. The Reflection Circle is an outdoor memorial in honor of the late Surprise resident and combat to wounded veteran Brian Mancini, 
providing a place for veterans to reflect, find healing, and feel the community's deep appreciation for their service and sacrifice. And as our troops come walking by, carrying a large American flag, I love seeing that. Thank you, thank you. Now you can hear them coming. Paradise Honors Spirit Line consists of high school varsity cheer and Paradise Honors Middle School cheer and palm line. These teams are the definition of Panther Pride. They support the school's academic and athletic community by showing school spirit at the three campuses. Five of these ladies have made the All-American team this year and will be performing on Main Street at Disney World on Thanksgiving Day. Paradise Honor Spirit Line loves getting out in the community and they are happy to support us on Veterans Day. The Paradise Honors High School Fighting Panther Marching Band is a new band dedicated to high quality music performance for the community. Striving for the highest in musical performance, the band is directed by Brian Miller with drum major Gianna Morrison and band officers Noah Harada, Margaret Springer, Olivia Padron, and Ethan Burka. Paradise Honors High School Student Council, thank you for joining us today. They are very happy to be here and would like to thank all of our veterans. Paradise Schools proudly serves over 2,600 students and their families. Paradise Honors has served the City of Surprise for over 20 years, providing academic excellence and a positive learning environment. Paradise Honors Middle School, Student Council, NJHS, and Builders Club are committed to encouraging school spirit, serving the school and the community. We want to thank veterans for their service on Veterans Day from everyone at Paradise Honors. And getting to the little ones now, the Elementary Student Council, building leaders with integrity for tomorrow by developing and promoting leadership abilities, striving for academic excellence while serving and encouraging others and creating activities for campus pride and school spirit. Knights of Columbus, San Juan Diego Assembly, number 2836, is a fraternal organization, the patriotic degree of the Knights of Columbus, supporting the military and families in times of need. They also defend all laws and recognize the sanctity of life at stages and support American patriotic symbols. The Knights of Columbus standing together to ensure true religious freedom. Pack and Troop 400. The pack is a family pack consisting of both boys and girls, kindergarten through fifth grade. The troop is boy led, ages 11 to 18. Both pack and troop enjoy STEM and service projects helping to serve the community. They both love outdoor activities such as camping, fishing, and hiking. They join us today to say thank you to all of our veterans. And coming up next, uh, we'll see some familiar figures from spring training here in Surprise. The Surprise Sundancers, the official spring training volunteer organization of the Kansas City Royals, the Texas Rangers, and the City of Surprise. Sundancers, a registered 501c3 nonprofit organization currently consisting of over 700 members. Sundancers providing volunteer services here at Surprise Stadium and around the city. The Sundancers raise charitable donations and receive contributions to see all the sorts of very good activities done here in the City of Surprise. You'll recognize them by their yellow shirts. And of course, led by the great stadium manager here at Surprise Stadium, Travis Ashby. And speaking of spring training and sun dancers, Major League Baseball in conjunction with the Kansas City Royals and Texas Rangers released the 2023 Cactus League spring training schedule. It's available now at SurpriseStadium.com. Mark your calendars. Opening day is Friday, February 24th. Texas Rangers, of course, taking on the Kansas City Royals. Girl Scout Troop 4847, a multi-level troop that started in 2017. The girls enjoy crafts, camping, and adventures, especially outdoors. They enjoy co connecting with the local community through community service and special projects. Girl Scout Troop 997 has been serving the Peoria area for the last eight years with girls from kindergarten to high school seniors. Girl Scouting, building girls of courage, confidence, and character to make the world a better place. Troop 997 is here today to pay tribute to all veterans. 
on my honor, I will try. Mm -hmm. I was a Girl Scout, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I am happy to see more of them walking on by. Girl Scout Troop 5381, here to thank the veterans for their dedicated service to our country. Lakota Blossom Girl Scouts serve over 250 girls in the West Valley. They have girls from kindergarten daisies all the way up to seniors. These scouts are happy to be here to show their love of country and of the nation's veterans. And again, a salute to all Girl Scouts. And you see what you happens when you're a Girl Scout, you can become Nicole in the future. <laughs> 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 and probably much bigger and better uh, things as well. <laughs> And we're being serenaded by the That's Girl Scouts as they come by. That's how to be your friend. <laughs> All right. Have you thought about holiday shopping yet? It is coming up. It is right upon us. Can you even believe it? When you shop in Surprise, you are helping to shape our community. Did you know that the money you spend here stays here? Local sales tax makes up nearly 40% of the city's general fund revenues. And those monies are used to pay for police, fire medical, street maintenance, and beautiful parks. You're also supporting your hometown employers, which helps maintain and even create new local jobs. So when you are heading out the door to get some Christmas presents under the tree, please, please, please stay in surprise for your shopping fun. And while we're enjoying our observation of Veterans Day today, get ready to party and celebrate the holidays. Join the City of Surprise on December 3rd for the Surprise Founders Day party at Surprise Recreation Campus. It'll run from 2 o'clock in the afternoon to 9 o'clock that evening. It'll include live entertainment, a tree lighting ceremony, Santa's workshop, a car show, a carnival, a shopping village, amazing new lights, and two drone shows. Now that event is free, although we'd love for you to bring some canned food and unwrapped toys for donations. The carnival portion of that event will be open from 12 to 5 p.m. on Sunday. And again, that is a great event coming up on December the 3rd right here at Surprise Recreation Campus and a great way to continue your observation of the holiday season. Beautiful morning this morning in Surprise. Thank you for joining us for the Surprise Veterans Day Parade and we hope that you'll continue to remember and observe all day what veterans have done. As Mariah, these Girl Scouts are walking by, I've noticed they created some small floats. Take a look at those floats. Yeah, One that's of them was very impressive tank. using and wagons and very creative. Yes, we have the American flag here. Mariah and Brown is the reigning Arizona State Cinderella talent winner. The Cinderella Scholarship Pageant is a youth development program that builds self-confidence, public speaking skills, and showcases talent for girls ages 3 to 26. Mariah loves staying active and is involved in the community volunteering at Shadow Ridge. Steady hand dog training, making man's best friend better with fun and functional lifestyle training. We've got dogs on top of the truck, in the bed of the truck, and then some more walking behind in their Veterans Day apparel. Steady hand dog training, proud to be a part of the Surprise community, and is walking today to honor all of those who serve. Thank you for your service and your sacrifice. And some beautiful dogs among the group here. See a couple of mastiffs out there. All Very impressive. Kinds. Yeah. Yes. American Heritage Girls Troop AZ-1556 is a local troop here in Surprise. AHG is a national organization whose mission is building women of integrity through service to God, family, and country. They are a faith-based character and leadership development program for girls ages 5 through 18. AHG is grateful to the men and women who have served in our armed forces and thank them for their sacrifice for our country. Mountain View School Cheer Club from Waddell is here, and their members are 5th through 8th grade. They are very happy to be here to show their respect to our veterans. Welcome, girls, and good morning. Love the cheer outfits. Coming up next, we see Navy Seabees Veterans of America coming our way bringing all CBs together to share in the pride of their service, supporting CB charities and CB veterans in need. The CB's motto is can do because of their reputation for getting the job done during impossible conditions. An original CB from World War II in 1942 is on board today, Gene Smith. Gene turned 100 in September. He was deployed during the Second World War in the South Pacific, currently living in Sun City. Gene, so glad you could be with us today. Wow, thank you so much, Gene. 
Trail Life Troop AZ001, a local group right here in Surprise. It is a Christ-based, boy-focused group that teaches leadership, service, patriotism, and character. Whether hiking, camping, or serving our community, these boys walk worthy in all they do. Trail Life thanks all the men and women who have served our great country and defend the freedoms we enjoy each day. E-bike riders are veterans and some are volunteers for various organizations. They enjoy riding e-bikes and encourage others to join in on the fun. And they wish to show their support and appreciation for all the veterans who've served our country, providing the freedoms that all of us enjoy today and have for centuries. Rosie the Riveters. The American Rosie the Riveter Association was founded in 1998 to honor those who served in World War II and their descendants, men and women who helped build ships, airplanes, and military equipment for the war effort. Many used a rivet and welding materials for these items. Thank you for being here today. The Rotary Club of Surprise is part of Rotary International, a service organization with the motto, Service Above Self. The club supports our community in a variety of ways, typically involved in over 25 different service projects each year, such as bell ringing for the Salvation Army, service days in Surprise, and participation in this parade. Moving right along, BSA Fast 30. We are the scouts of multiple units in Paradise Valley and are so grateful to be here in honor of our veterans. This group represents Cub Scout Pack 416, Scouts BSA Troop 3030, Scouts BSA Troop 30, and Crew 2030. I see some flips coming. Yes, They're I think we're going to have over them here. here very, very shortly as we have Ottawa University, Arizona cheer in dance. Five-time collegiate national champions, loving to get out into the community, expressing a passion for both dance and cheer. And they'd also like to thank all of the veterans serving now and those who served in the past. OUAZ, cheer and dance. They have a lot going on at the university. You can catch all sorts of sports, athletics. Um, Amazing how fast oh! that campus has developed, too. Very impressive, How right in front of us here. How many do you think that was there? Yeah. Ten? <laughs> I'm impressed. Great job, OUAZ. Thank you so much. The Shadow Ridge Band Program is committed to musical excellence while developing lifelong learners and fantastic future leaders. The band program consists of two concert bands, a jazz band, a percussion ensemble, and many smaller ensembles. Shadow Ridge High School also has a complete and comprehensive art department where high expectations, student opportunities, meaningful relations, and empowerment thrive. And we enjoy the music as the Shadow Ridge Band marches in front of us. Coming up next, Scotty Galen is riding his 2001 Harley-Davidson motorcycle displaying the Army and Marine Corps flags. He's a retired Marine, served from 1959 with, to 1979, two tours in Vietnam. Louise is riding her 2016 Harley-Davidson Triglide motorcycle, displaying the Navy, Air Force, and Coast Guard flags. She rides with her husband of 41 years to honor his and all veteran service. Louise, a retired college professor from both California and Arizona. Louise, we thank both of you for your service to our country. Joseph Turchini served in the Air Force from 1960 to 1964. He was an autopilot specialist assigned to the 307th Tactical Fighter Wing stationed at Homestead AFB in Florida. He worked missions throughout the world, including Alaska, Spain, Japan, Germany, Italy, Hawaii, and the Philippine Islands. Thank you, Joe, for your service. Veterans of Foreign Wars Post 285 Surprise Mission is to foster camaraderie among veterans of overseas conflicts serving our local veterans and community advocating on behalf of all veterans. 
American Legion Riders. American Legion is an entity of the American Legion Joseph Q. Johnson Post 96 of Surprise, Arizona. They stand to help veterans, their families, and the community of Surprise. And they've got some impressive motorcycles coming along as well. Here. I like the red yeah. one. Yeah. I think we need to pause to hear these too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're definitely letting us hear them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Home Educators of Surprise is a 501c3 nonprofit organization supporting homeschool families in Surprise since 1999. Their goal is to work together to encourage and support a build a community of Christian homeschool families. Home Educators thankful for the veterans in the Surprise community. Rainbow for Girls, the International Order of the Rainbow for Girls prepares girls for responsible and purposeful adulthood through character and leadership development. They're a nonprofit youth group that teaches girls what matters most, leadership, confidence, and citizenship. Rainbow Girls volunteer for their community and travel to other clubs, and along the way they make new friends and gather invaluable life skills. And impressive turnout for the oh, yeah. Glendale Assembly number eight from the Rainbow Order. Ballet Folkloria Esperanza is a nonprofit dance group that teaches its members in the community about Mexican culture through traditional dances. Through their performances, they strive to be positive role models, are to be part in the Veterans Day ceremonies today here in Surprise. Banner MD Anderson Cancer Center would like to thank all the veterans and their families for their service and sacrifice. They're grateful to have the opportunity to be here today to honor you. The melanoma program at Banner MD Anderson Cancer Center on the Banner Del E. Webb Medical Center campus was created as a comprehensive center for education, prevention, diagnosis, treatment, and research of melanoma in the Southwest. Passing us now is the Church of Palms shower trailer, a needed trailer that most don't think about a shower trailer. It's operated by volunteers from the Church of the Palms. They do a minimum of 100 showers a month. The City of Surprise is a sponsor of this program as well, providing showers to shelterless and others as needed. Members of the Daughters of the American Revolution, Sons of the American Revolution, and Children of the American Revolution are together today to honor and thank our veterans while encouraging family patriotism. These organizations are passionate about community service, preserving history, educating children, as well as honoring and supporting those who serve our nation. Membership is open to descendants of patriots of the American Revolution. If you'd like to learn more, you can head to dar.org sar.org and nsar.org and also we have dogs of the american revolution marching <laughs> with them as well there they are. we've had a great turnout of uh, beautiful dogs this morning bling tour is an innovative child-centered studio offering a wide variety of dance cheer tumbling gymnastics and ninja classes for ages 2 through 18 their uniqueness driven by their facility instruction and uh, curriculum they offer advanced level classes and strive to offer the highest quality programming during each class. They provide structure and discipline in a highly interactive and fun environment. Bling Tour wants to thank the City of Surprise for inviting them to be part of today's Veterans Day Parade and honoring all of the nation's veterans. And the city would like to thank Bling Tour as well. They've been helping us out at many of our events. It's always fun to see them and uh, they bring the spirit for sure. Speaking of spirit, are you ready to party and celebrate the holidays? Join the City of Surprise on December 3rd for the Surprise Founders Day party here at Surprise Recreation Campus from 2 to 9 p.m. This event will include live entertainment, a tree lighting as always, Santa's workshop, and a car show. This is our Surprise Founders Founders Day party. The carnival portion of the event is also open 12 to 5 p.m. on Sunday, so mark your calendar for December 3rd and December 4th.
the Dysart Unified School District showcasing their support of our veterans today. This group comprised of student council members from each of four high schools, Valley Vista, Dysart, Willow Canyon, and Shadow Ridge, and their mascots. Dysart Unified School District like to extend severe gratitude to all of the nation's veterans. The Deer Valley High School Air Force Junior ROTC team under the direction of Major Retired Vaughn Whited and Master Sergeant Retired Danilia Stilchen is here to show their support to all of the veterans active and retired. The Young Marines are a youth education and service program for boys and girls ages 8 through the completion of high school. The Young Marines promote the mental, moral, and physical development of their members. The program focuses on character building, leadership, and promoting a healthy, drug-free lifestyle. The Desert Young Marines. Today we have a 1940, well, I don't know, do we? Yes, we do. Here it comes. It's hiding behind the uh, modern day yeah. black truck that we see there, but we do have a 1943 Ford GPW World War II Jeep named Jane. Its owner is Michael Farnham. Mark Michael is a 23-year veteran of the U.S. Army Cavalry. Passengers are Mike's son, Dustin, and grandchildren, Damian and Eliza. And it's great to see a 1943 Jeep still running well here in 2022. Impressive. The marching band from Willow High School is made up of freshmen through seniors. This year, the band is under the direction of Mandy Broderick, assistant director Dave Coons, and the percussion instructors Ethan Corfield and Ryan San Diego. The color guard instructor is Brian Jackson, and the drum majors Eli Hernandez and Katie Conkerham. Willow Canyon Theater is part of Thespian Group 6901, a branch of the International Thespian Society. Group more than happy to be in the parade saluting the veterans. We have so many students here from Willow Canyon. We have high school skills. Their mission is to empower members to become world-class workers, leaders, and responsible American citizens. We also have Willow Canyon High School Choir. There they are. I hear them. <laughs> They're under the direction of Logan McDonald. Proud to be here to support our veterans. Willow Canyon is home to the Evolution Show Choir, the Willow Wisp, the WC Concert Choir, and the Beginning Mixed Choir. Wired is your local fiber to home company that offers transparent, affordable, and reliable fast fiber internet and VOIP home phone services. Today, Wired and their office veterans thank and honor all who served honorably in the military. Thank you for your service. The West Valley Cruisers of Surprise, local car club that hosts car show events, cruises, and drive-in movie nights. Club helps out many businesses here in Surprise, as well as local charities. Members meeting up for cars and coffee across the street at Surprise Community Park, the first and third Saturdays of the month, so go check them out. I have a feeling that we are going to see many cars drive by here with this group. So as they do, I would like to talk a little bit more, if that's okay, about Surprise Party. So this year, Surprise Founders Day Party is going to honor the foundation of Surprise. And that, as I said before, is December 3rd and 4th. December 3rd will be what you're used to with Surprise Party. We will have the tree lighting. We'll have Santa. I'm sure we'll have some winter activities for the kids to participate in. We'll have drone light shows. That'll be fun, too. And with that, we are starting something new this year. So you're going to see hundreds of thousands of lights covering this entire area here. So you will see selfie spots. You will see so many lights. And you will be able to see that the entire month of December. 
And coming up in February, something very dear to my heart as spring training returns here to Surprise Stadium with the Kansas City Royals and the Texas Rangers, both under new managers this year, including Hall of Famer to be Bruce Boshi with the Texas Rangers. For ticket information regarding the upcoming season, including game times and ticket details, visit SurpriseStadium.com and sign up for one of the email alerts. It's just around the corner coming up in the middle of February. So we did just post this yesterday. Tickets are available online. You can go to surprisestadium.com and we are super excited again for a another season of spring training. And not right only that, even before that, on February 17th, our annual college baseball tournament with Oregon yes. State getting underway with four very, very important college baseball programs involved in that. So that's February 17th as we begin the weekend before the start of spring training. Coming up, we have Vineyard Park Assisted Living. They are an assisted living facility that has seven veterans living right among them. They are here to honor those seven veterans and, of course, all of the veterans on Veterans Day. Coming up, you can hear the sounds of the Valley Vista Vanguard, a 60-piece marching band from Valley Vista High School in Surprise. They are currently approaching the end of their competition marching season where they've been performing their show, Dark Rain, and we're glad to have them with us here today. You can see the flags. They kind of represent that theme of dark rain. We've got the Arizona desert on there with some lightning. This year has been incredible for rainfall. And some say. great pictures coming from the sunsets and sunrises because of that rain in the clouds here in beautiful surprise as well. The other day I saw the most gorgeous rainbow like I've never seen before just coming right up out of the ground. I love and, to see that. And as you mentioned these flags are very vivid in their colors too. Celebrating what it is to live in the great state of Arizona. Since 2012, Surprise Angels have been offering quality gymnastics, tumbling, ballet, and ninja instruction to children ranging from toddlers to teens. Those classes are offered throughout the week. Fun parties, open gym, and clinics held on the weekends. Surprise Angels are proud of all their students and, of course, of all the veterans as well. And our thanks to those angels for joining us today. And I believe this is Calibre Academy cheer team, excited to be a part of the Veterans Day Parade this year. They are pre-K through eighth grade and they're a charter school. Their cheer team is made up of eighth, fifth through eighth graders and they would like to thank all of our veterans who are here today. And they're putting on a little performance for us right here in front of our reviewing stand. Thank you so much, very talented. Have fun today, girls. There's a large group of them here today, too. And with their mascot as well along today with the cheerleaders. Oh, this is still the same group. Yeah, that is. Oh my goodness, welcome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, we have the Arizona Rangers. They're a uniformed law enforcement auxiliary with a rich history dating all the way back to 1901. The Arizona Rangers played a key role in the settlement of Arizona. Today, the Arizona Rangers provide law enforcement assistance to any federal, state, and local law enforcement agencies, also supporting veterans, youth, and youth organizations. Arizona Rangers are an unpaid, all-volunteer, nonprofit 501c3. And they're here today to thank all their fellow veterans for their service to our country, the Arizona Rangers. The wide range of dogs and vehicles and performers. I love to see that this morning. And coming out on another beautiful sunny Veterans Day here in Surprise. And with a cheer, you can hear thank you, veterans. So appropriate. Thank you, veterans. Thank you, veterans. 
And some of the Rangers stopping to shake hands with uh, some of the folks watching on the parade route today. The Christian Motorcycle Association loves serving the community and Jesus. They're proud and thankful for all veterans. The Christian Motorcycle Association. Right behind them, the Fraternal Order of Eagles is an international nonprofit organization with more than 1,500 clubs in North America. I will pause for just one moment as these motorcycles pass on by. And you can hear the roar of those motorcycles. And they're having fun being a part of our parade today. Okay, so Fraternal Order of Eagles, more than 1,500 clubs in North America uniting fraternally in the spirit of liberty, truth, justice, and equality. Surprise Eagles is a volunteer, nonprofit, social, and community-based organization with nearly 1,000 local members that have donated thousands of dollars to local, state, and national charitable organizations. Thank you for your service. Oh, I see more goodies. Bracelets yeah. and... And they are making them available Fun. to a lot of folks. I think they've got some uh, wristbands yes. they're, they're throwing out. <laughs> Coming up next, to my surprise, has brought a veteran today so that he can see how thankful we are for all of his service. Make sure you wave and give this veteran a thumbs up. And to my surprise is a wonderful service to and from the airport. And I've used their services on more than one occasion. Glendale Dimbalay is an organization for young men between the ages of 12 and 21, teaching public service, confidence, and business skills. Dimbalay is appreciative of all the veterans who are serving now and have served in the past. Our thanks to Glendale Dimbalay for being part of today's event. And I also see Vice Mayor Allie Klein walking on by over there in the purple shirt. Thank you for coming this morning, Vice Mayor. She is with our her husband, Gary. She's your District 2 representative. And that is a wrap on our 8th Annual City of Surprise Veterans Day Parade. We thank you all so much for coming today. What an incredible display of all of our community coming together honoring our veterans. We are forever grateful and hope the day reminds our servicemen and women how loved and supported they are. And as Tony mentioned a little earlier during the parade, if you're not ready to head home just yet, you can head over to the Veterans Reflection Circle. It's on the east side of Northwest Regional Library. It is a very beautiful area. There are plants and murals. You can reflect and show your appreciation for our service members' sacrifices right here in Surprise. And thank you again for joining us this morning. We love to see how this parade has grown over the years. We're proud of all the residents and all the participants for your hard work and your support. Have a lovely rest of your Veterans Day. For Nicole Wiley, I'm Tony Rixby saying we'll see you again next year.